Matthew Samsa gutting one out for the Panthers at 182. Trailed it two to one, he won it six to two. With a takedown and a turn in the final 30 seconds. So Polo Canto falls to within a one, it's 19-18. Five matches to go. We're here at 195 pounds. Jean Camps, a junior for Ocano Falls. Lucas Markowitz, a senior for Coleman. Markowitz, just shy of 20 wins at the varsity level a year ago, was a sectional qualifier. All conference honors in both baseball and football. And of course, part of a couple of team state championships for the Cougars his goal this season is to qualify for the individual state tournament. This match here at 195 brought to you by Custom Metal Specialists. Sheet and plate fabrication shop in Ocano Falls. Camps trying to beat that shoulder and spin around behind. And he's got to beat the shoulder. There he's able to do just that. Spins around 2-0. Custom metal specialists. Their mission to provide their customers with a fast turnaround quality project at a fair cost. Your fabrication problem solvers. Custom metal specialists. And we thank them for their support of Panther Wrestling here on BadgerStateWrestling.com where it's nothing but wrestling. 15 seconds. Markowitz up to his feet trying to get hand control. Gets his hips separated and gets the escape inside of 10 seconds. Big escape. Therefore, Markowitz, two to one as the first period sees its conclusion. That was a big escape. Short time points. Now Markowitz, he's got choice. He'll go on bottom. Good hip position on top. Tight waist and a thigh pry. Camp's got to be careful. Wants to make sure that he's off to the side working for a turn. And Markowitz again able to establish hand control and work for the escape. We're tied at bit two. Then on the van side of Green Bay scoreboard, phenomenal crowd, electric. Here inside Ocanto Falls High School. Ocanto Falls and Coleman early season showdown. Talking to Coach Casperson, this one's been going on for as long as he can remember. And what a great opportunity here early in the season to find out where you're at and make a statement here in early December. Greg, Johnny, let's go. 50 seconds here in this second period. We have seen some phenomenal matches here tonight. Some close ones. This one could go either way. Markowitz looking for a fireman's, but he let up underneath. And Camps scores two, doubling up the Cougar now four to two, 20 seconds. And this is where Markowitz was able to escape to get a tally to close out the first period. This time, Camps will get the ride out. Just one second. Camps up by two, and he's got choice. He'll go on bottom. He's in good position. Last time Ocanto Falls led was after the first match at 120 on the decision by Conitzer, 3-0. And 
At one point, they were down 19 to six. But huge wins from Nielsen, Morrissey, and Samsa. They trail it by one now, 19-18. Cam's up by three. Match brought to you by Custom Metal Specialists, your fabrication problem solvers. Thanks to Jim Ash and Custom Metal Specialists. Markowitz trying to get Camps down to the mat. And there's the takedown. Now five to four, he'll cut him. Six to four. Markowitz needs a takedown to tight. He's got a minute to work with. And you can tell by looking at Camps, he's tired. And when guys are tired, their position is compromised. Reset with 37 ticks. This one here at 195, hanging in the balance. Markowitz was in this position before, and this is where he let up and Kamps was able to spin around behind. This time Markowitz able to move forward. 21 seconds. And a takedown for Markowitz. We're tied up at six with 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Clock reads six, they'll reset it to 10. Camps to his feet. Final seconds and the escape by Camps and he wins it seven to six. John Camps, the W for the Panthers at 195 in O'Connell Falls, is on top 21-19 to with four matches to go as we head to 220.